Mexico. It's happening. <laughs> right, suspect looking key. You got to mate that with that. If we do it right, do that. Woo! Hacked the system. Select reverse. Welded diff life. There it is, skip, skip, skip. Right, what's up guys? So today, you joined me from another car. Another one. Yep, I bought another car last night. Basically, this car came up for sale and it was too good to turn down, if I'm honest. And someone was very interested in BMW and I thought for, you know, this channel really, I should be driving something a little bit more exciting than an automatic BMW, which in my opinion is a very boring car. Now, before I start this video, I have a couple of announcements to make. The first of which being that I will be at Jap Days next weekend. Me and Josh are going up in his Aristo, which will be in the show and shine. So hopefully he wins himself something nice up there. And it should be a good laugh. It should be a good day out. A lot of people have asked me on here and on Instagram, which is Jamie underscore FYD. If you haven't already followed me, go and follow me. I'll be up there. Um, I hope to see you all there, all the people that have asked me to go. I have made arrangements so we can go. Uh, it should be a bloody good day out and I can't wait to go up in the Aristo, obviously. Well did diff. Uh, obviously from my previous vlog of us going to uh, get Josh's S15, you all know that I do like a good Aristo. I've vlogged the whole thing like I did with Japfest. Um, should be a good laugh. I hope to see everybody there. Remember, if you watch the channel, it's come up to me. I'd love to meet you, chat about your cars. Next thing is, fingers crossed, please do not hold me to this, but I've been you know, hammering to try and get it done for this weekend. I will be releasing the RS Focus t-shirt. Um, a couple of you may have seen on the old Instagrams. So yeah, um, a lot of people didn't know, but that will be the next t-shirt release. Um, but I'm shooting for this weekend. Hopefully you can all join me in just being so excited for this t-shirt. I literally have worked so bloody hard to get this as soon as possible, made just right. I will do another video closer to the time with me actually wearing the t-shirt and everything um, to let you all guys know that it will be up um, and when the release date and time will be. Again, like last time, these are as a limited as I can make them, but this time I will be doing 50. With the amount of people that wanted the Integra t-shirt but didn't get a chance to get it, I think from now on 50 will probably be the minimum I do, if I'm honest. The next one, and probably the most obvious one at the moment, is the BMW is gone. It has been sold to a very nice man that is a BMW enthusiast, and he was very, very happy with his purchase. Obviously, I do admit I go through a couple of cars, um, only because I'm always looking at cars, and when other cars come up, like the one I'm sat in right now, it needs to be bought, and it needs to come to the channel, and it needs for me to have a laugh in it, and all this sort of business. So, uh, so yeah, guys. Here it is, the replacement for the BMW. Obviously, I didn't actually get a chance to video the BMW as much as I wanted to. I wanted to do a proper review on it, a proper owner's, you know, E46, proper, proper review. But when stuff like this comes up, and in my opinion, this is a damn sight of a better car um, than that was, um, it, it had to be done. And I had a buy for the BMW. That was the main thing. Um, a lot of you will say, you know, oh, you don't keep your cars long enough, oh, this sort of business. But... I will now go through why I actually bought this, why the BMW wasn't a very good idea. You know, just touch on some things because I think the comment section will probably be alive with why, 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 why. So, the first thing being, the BMW was very boring. Um, and I, I, I was driving it around and I just wasn't happy with it. Although it's automatic and it's, you know, it's comfy and stuff, it just didn't feel like it was any fun and I, I couldn't have any fun in it. Um, and I couldn't make videos about it. I wanted something that I could make videos and all of you can sort of relate to. And yeah, the BMW is a relatable car, don't get me wrong, it's a cheap car to buy and stuff. But I think this is a better start. Um, I think this is a better base car. One thing that did draw me to this car, and it wasn't the bloody colour, because I fucking hate it, if I'm quite honest, um, is it's got a welded diff. The guy that I actually bought this off of, I've done a review on his uh, Evo before. He had an Evo 5. Um, and I've been around brands hatching it and unfortunately he sold it, had to get a bigger car, all that sort of business. But he bought this for car club, replaced the clutch, 
serviced it, did everything, you know, so the car is absolutely mint condition. It's got 104,000 miles on it, which I think for its age is pretty good. He'd welded the diff, new clutch, all that sort of stuff. So it was in fucking good condition. He used it once for probably three or four laps, um, just really sliding it around. And it's been parked up for the last three weeks. And he sort of, you know, put a feeler out there saying who wants to buy it um, because he wasn't really feeling it. You know, it's not an Evo and all this, which I completely understand. Um, and I sort of saw it and thought, I would never buy that colour. I think it's bloody hideous. But as a base, you know, the clutch being done, the service is just being done, you know, all the, the water pump cam belt's been done, um, the welded diff's ready to go, four new tyres, you know, it's, it's sort of a match made in heaven as a base car, in my opinion. So I had to have it. It had to happen. It is such a good idea in my opinion and after driving ash's is 200 turbo obviously this is nothing like that i was reminded how good these were and how comfy they are and how cheap they are these are fucking cheap now six speed you know manual you know you've got you, you can do everything with this so it had to happen it had to, it had to happen my thing is though and a lot of you will be with me on this one the colors just i've said it more than enough times already in this video the color is so bad isn't it it is the worst color ever so my first thing probably one of the first things i'll do to the car if i'm honest uh, i want to change the wheels um coilovers won't happen i don't see the point in spending the same amount on the car as the coilovers so um, i'll probably put springs on it if i'm honest but we're going to change the wheels and change the color i want you now to pause the video Go into the comment section, what colour I should spray my new car. To be honest, I will be doing it in graffiti paint. Um, I've done a couple of cars before in the past in graffiti paint, and I want to do it again to this one. What colour should I do it in? Now, I would like to do something a little bit different, um, and I'll do a full video of it, you know, complete, you know, how-to, but I don't know what I'm doing in the first place, but it'll sort of be a how-to, but it'll be how to not paint your car again, if I'm honest. So, yeah. I hope you like it. Should be a good laugh. Right, so let's whip around. You'll hear the welded diff catching. Da -da 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 -da. It ain't too bad to drive with a welded diff, if I'm honest. But it means you can do that. <laughs> we out here in Mexico. It's happening. Where this is my own car, I'm not too fussed about what I do with it. Um, I'm able to sort of play with it a little bit more than I would with anybody else's car. Obviously, on a review, I would never do anything as stupid as that. So yeah, as a car, it still works very, very nicely. But obviously... <laughs> you can still do that with it, which is, um, which is why I bought it. Now, obviously, I don't condone stupidity like that. This is not what this channel is all about. But you need to have some fun in your cars. And, and where this is my personal car, obviously, you'd never catch me doing this in a car review. It, it's just, you know, I want to show you guys why I bought this dodgy colored gold Lexus. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's a reason behind it. And that is the, the reason that I've had more fun in the past 12 hours that I've owned this car than I have in any car I've ever owned, if I'm quite honest. But obviously the idea of this car is to have as much fun as possible and I think I'm having as much fun as I Whoa. Cactus Cactus Citroen nearly took me out of the game then. I know they're a learner driver, but it's a Renault Cactus. I think that's what it's called, it's Cactus, right? Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. So yeah, I hope you can all sort of uh, sympathize with my choice of getting rid of the BMW and jumping back into a Lexus. This is a better idea, let's be honest. For the channel, I think there's a lot more content that can be made, and I think there's a lot more videos that you would like to watch on this car. Obviously, leave a comment in the comments box below of what you would want to see me doing in this car. Um, obviously, I'm no uh, drift connoisseur. I am no professional drifter at all. I've only had a handful of uh, cars that would actually go sideways, and I've never really you know pushed it to the limit sort of thing so i'm not you know gonna show you how to reverse entry 100 mile an hour handbrake up into a turn i am not that capable if i'm quite honest we prepped over 14,000 subscribers the other day um, and i can't thank each and every one of you enough 
Um, it's just madness, and I'm enjoying every single second. I think you guys would rather me shitting myself sideways in this car than cruising around in an automatic BMW, let's be honest. Also, shout out to uh, 621 Adam. I know this was actually your idea, um, but I didn't want to let out that I actually wanted one of these really badly. I was just waiting for the right one to come up. You know, on the Isle of Wight, I wasn't really willing to travel for one, if I'm honest. Um, but I must say, mate, buy one. It's one of the best things I've ever done. They're bloody cheap, weld the diff, have a laugh in it. Although Hondas are cool, don't get me wrong, I love a good Honda. This is a good laugh. This is a bloody good laugh. Do it, man, do it now. So yeah, guys, I hope you like the car. I hope you like the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.